Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amartya Rupani and today I'm making this video just to give you a heads up that tomorrow Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program is opening up another stream and that is called International Student Stream. So guys, hurry up and get yourself ready to apply because they will have very limited number of registrations. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through its complete application process, registration process, its requirements and many more. So without wasting any time, let's start. Okay, let's first understand that what this stream is. It is an immigration stream under the Ontario Immigrant Nominee Program, which gives international students with a job offer in NOC level 0, A and B. It is actually a great opportunity for you guys to apply from inside or out of Canada to permanently live and work in Ontario. Let me just walk you through its requirements one by one in detail. Okay, so your first requirement is your education that you must have a degree or diploma or certificate from an eligible Canadian institutions and guys, uh, this is the list of all those eligible uh, institutions and the link of this uh, list is given in the description box below guys, you can check this out. Now this requirement applies to those professions who require license in order to work in Canada. So if your job offer is for an occupation that requires a mandatory license, you must hold a valid license or authorization from the appropriate regulatory body in Ontario at the time of application submission. Most of you have been asking that what professions do need license in Canada. So guys, I will be covering this topic in my uh, upcoming videos and I will also cover the step-by-step -step process to apply for those licenses for different professions. So stay tuned guys. Okay, so the next requirement is that you must show your intention to live in Ontario province after you get your PR approved and these are number of factors on which they will determine your intentions. And guys, if you're applying from within Canada for this stream, then your status should be legal. Let's say it could be visitor record or a study permit or work permit at the time you apply. Next requirement is job offer. The job has to be permanent and full time, which means the minimum number of hours has to be 30 per week. And the job offer must be from following NOCs that is 0, A or B. Now the most trickiest part, how to get a job in Canada. So if you're looking for a job from inside of Canada, then guys, I've recently made two videos in which I've mentioned the best techniques to find a job in Canada. And I can guarantee you that after watching those videos, you will definitely get a job offer in Canada. And the links are given in the description box below. You can check them out. And soon time, I will be making a video on how to find a job from outside of Canada. So stay tuned, guys. Now, at this point, you should have all the required documents gathered. So this is the complete list of all those documents that are required to apply to this stream. And guys, the link is given in the description box below. You can check that out. Okay, once you have gathered all the required documents, now it's time to submit your application for international student stream. And in order to do that, you need to go to their official website, which is OINP. And guys, the link is given in the description box below so scroll it all the way down and click submit an application button as you can see it is currently unavailable and it will start tomorrow because right now it is under maintenance and the time they have specified is from 9 a.m to 5 p.m but guys you will have to stay ready as soon as they open it you just register yourself because there will be tons of candidates who will be applying for this stream and guys don't worry about the procedure to apply because it is same as other streams and i am going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process in detail you need to keep on checking their website tomorrow and as soon as they open up this stream click on submit button and then it will bring you at this page click i'm not robot and press continue now click new applicant and then you will come at e-filing page and then click job offer international student stream and then press yes enter all the required information such as last name first name and your date of birth and then press next it will bring you at this page where you will have to sign up for the one key account in order to create your profile so create your user id your password and enter all the security questions for your account recovery and then press sign up button 
and then press continue for the confirmation and that will bring at this page where you can create your profile in order to submit your application and once you complete your profile then click the finish button at the end and that will bring you at the main page of e-filing where you can start your application and guys you can also use this OINB e-filing guide in which you can learn how to submit an application so they have mentioned each step into detail and the link is given in the description box below you can refer it and guys just so you know that it takes approximately three hours to complete your application and you don't have to do it all at once so just fill up your application upload all the required documents and then submit your application and after that if your application is successful then you will receive a nomination letter and oinp certificate of nomination by email then your next step is to apply for permanent residence to ircc directly within six months and let me show you where to apply for pr so all you have to do is just go to their official website which is cic.gc.ca and the link is given in the description box where you can apply for the pr and guys this is the paper uh, application for the pr so all you have to do is just click how to apply and click the application package and it will bring you at this page where you can find all the required application forms that you need to fill out and guys there is one document all the way at the bottom which is called guide for provincial nominees so don't forget to refer it because it will give you all the directions in order to fill out your application form it will also help you to avoid all the possible mistakes and once you fill out your application then you need to pay your application fees and that is PR application fees and guys the instructions you can get for the payment from this link and it is given in the description box so the total fees is 1325 and it's been increased because before it was 1040 and that includes uh, the write of residence fees as well as the application processing fees and you also have to pay the fees for biometrics which is $85 Canadian and before you submit your application guys please ensure that you have signed and dated all the documents and forms you have included all the required supporting documents and then answered all the questions and then once you confirm and ensure that everything is perfect to go then send your application to this address which is already mentioned and i would recommend you to send your application by registered mail because it is more reliable as compared to the regular mail okay now let's move on to the application fees which is fifteen hundred dollars canadian and the processing time for the international student stream is 90 to 120 days and guys uh, they have also specified the application period that you must submit your application within two years of completing your degree that means uh, if your degree or diploma or certificate is dated june 1 2017 then guys you must apply to this stream before june 1st 2019 so your application submission period has to be within two years of completing your credentials okay guys so that was pretty much it for today and as i said be prepared uh, for tomorrow from 9 a.m to 5 p.m to register yourself and we are not sure for how long this stream will remain open but as soon as number of registration uh, limit will be met they will close it down so anyways guys best of luck and uh, i hope you find this video helpful and if you like it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there's a lot more coming up for you guys till then you take care and i'll see you again